Fordham and St. Joe's on senior day. Graduate student Mara Strickland gets things going early. Hits the three for Fordham to put them up 3 nothing. Two teams are going to trade baskets. A couple minutes later, Clark with a nice spin move in the paint. That ties the game at 16. From there, Fordham's going to go on a little bit of run. Corning going to find Strickland with the cross-court pass. Strickland with a huge first half for the Rams. She hits a three there. Put Fordham up 21-16. Nina Gaskin only played two minutes in the game, but she had a nice move here up and under to put Fordham up 24-16. Their biggest lead of the first half so far. Charlotte Stoddard missed the last few games with the concussion, but she comes back with authority on senior day, hitting the three in her first minutes in nearly a month. Strickland, like I said, huge first half. She had 17 for Fordham in the opening stanza. And this is going to end the first half for Fordham. Rooney going to find Clark on the inside. Rooney, six assists in the first half. Clark, eight points and six boards in the opening period for Fordham. St. Joe's going to miss that half-court heave. Fordham goes into the locker room with a 33-24 lead, nine points. Ace Collins going to get things going early in the second. She takes a nice backdoor pass from Samantha Clark, puts Fordham up nine. Next possession down. Ace going to nail the three here. She had nine points all in the second half, did the Hamilton, New Jersey native on senior day. Mara Strickland still going strong for Fordham in the second half. She pump fakes, puts up the three, extends Fordham's lead a little bit on that one. St. Joe's making a comeback. Samantha Clark going to put Fordham up five, extend the lead a little bit, but St. Joe's would go on to tie the game. They do so right here on this possession. Little elbow jumper's good. That ties the game at 58. 14 ticks left on the clock. Fordham inbounding underneath the St. Joe's basket. 1.2 seconds on the clock. Baseball pass from Rooney to Strickland. One dribble at half court. That one misses by mere fractions of an inch. And we're going overtime in the Rose Hill gym. Aaron Rooney going to start things off. Little step back jumper off glass is good for the New Zealand native. Puts Fordham up two. Next time down the floor, Strickland going to drive to the basket. Absorbs the contact. Puts it in. Fordham up four. Strickland. Made seven of her eight free throw attempts in the extra period. She had nine of Fordham's 12 points in overtime. 31 points for the graduate student. A career high, smashing her previous career high. She was four of eight from three, nine of 17 from the field. What a day for Mara Strickland, and Fordham emerges victorious in overtime. 70 to 63, 20 wins there. First 20 win season in 19 years, 10 wins in the conference. We spoke to Coach Gately. Here with Fordham head coach Stephanie Gately and her friend Sean, Coach. That game came put into work. What 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 were you thinking of? <laughs> to be honest, it was one of the few times like I just wanted to be emotional after like it just felt so good for the team. They worked so hard, they played a, a really good St. Joe's team, a really well coached team. It was just you know, we persevered. Even when I went to overtime, I said, guys, this is we've played for this, we prepare for this, we've done situations like this, let's just go out and get it and have some fun. You go up twelve in the second half pretty early. St. Joe's battles back. What do you say to the kids in the huddle to get them to persevere in a situation like that? It's just a game of runs. You know, it was it was a case that we weren't making shots. I mean they have some very, very good players and, and they're difficult to defend. So it was just a the kids persevered, Mara stepped up big time, made some big plays, and we found a way to, to win. Talking about Mara Strickland, she had 17 points in the first half, and then she couldn't miss from the free throw line in the second half. What can you even say about Mara's performance on senior day? I mean, it's just, it's, senior day can go either way. You know, you can either go like, whoa, or you go, whoa. And I think Mara had one of those whoa moments. And I'm just so happy for her. When I wrote her card today, I was just like, God puts us in places for reasons, and you're, you're in the right spot, and let's finish this off the right way. Mars, 31 points, career high, most by a Fordham player since 2008, but another senior really stepped up in the beginning of the second half. Ace Collins rattles off nine in the second half, made a few big shots. You've been so high on Ace all year. What would you think of her out there today? Again, just a, just a working-class, blue-collar type performance. I mean, she had to play with four fouls, which isn't easy to do. I had to leave her and her in with two fouls, so to be able to play as aggressive as she did with the four fouls and to be able to play as consistent as she did was outstanding. All right, Coach, 20 wins for the Fordham program. First time in 19 years. You do it in only your second year at Fordham. What does it mean to you to hit a milestone like that? I mean, I'm just, it, it's the people you share it with, whether it's your staff, your administration, the people at Fordham have I've just been very blessed to have this great situation. And I mean, I'm excited because I think we got the program going in the right direction and, and with terrific people between, like I said, the entire you know Fordham community to the team, to the coaches, and I'm just really proud of them and I'm, I'm excited about what we're doing and what the future is. All right, great win, Coach. Thanks.